Okay, let's continue on now with the LIFO method. The LIFO method stands for last in, first out. We have beginning inventory 10 at 10, then we purchase 20 at 11. So we've got 10 at 10, 20 at 11. And then we had our first sale. We sold 10 of these items. Now remember, we're not concerned about the sales calculation. We're concerned about the cost of goods sold and inventory part, part of the journal entry. Okay, so for last in, first out, when we sell 10, it's these right here. It's 10 of these $11 ones. So I'm going to put right here 10 at $11, which would be 110 for our cost of goods sold. So what do we have left? We have 10 at $10 and 10 at 11. We only have 10 of the 11 because 10 of these we sold. Okay. Now, does it mean that we actually sold those 10? This is just an this is just an accounting method. Okay. It doesn't mean that these were the exact ones we sold. I mean, if you go to to a store and they have basketballs there and they have 30 basketballs, are they, do they really keep track of which ones they're selling? No, they just put them all out on the shelves. But for accounting purposes, we need to know which ones we're selling for accounting purposes. It's not the actual basketball. Possibly they could have sold those, and they actually, when they have 20 left, it could be all of these. We don't know, because we don't keep track of them on the floor like that, at least not in this method, okay? Now, we purchased some more. We purchased, in our example, um, we purchased 20 more at 12.50. So I'm gonna put 20 at 12.50 was our purchase. So what do we have? We have 10 at 10, 10, at 11 and 20 at 12.50. And now we have our last sale, which is 15. Last in, first out tells us these were the last ones in, those are the first ones to go out when we have a sale. So we sold 15 at 12.50, so 15 at 12.50 is 187.50. Okay, so then what do we have left? We've got left 10, at 10, 10 at $11, and, oops, and these 20, we sold 15 of those, so we have five at 12.50. So this here is our ending inventory. We can multiply these all out and add them up. And then our total cost of goods sold would be, uh, let's see, 297.50, because we have 110 of cost of goods sold, and 187.50 of cost of goods sold. So our total cost of goods sold is 297.50, okay? Uh, hopefully this makes sense. We've gone over two methods now, FIFO and LIFO. We're gonna go over the weighted average next. Good luck.